So this is uh, Unreal Engine 4 from Epic Games, uh, running on the uh, Tegra K1 reference tablet. This is an example of photorealistic rendering. Epic wanted to give game developers the opportunity to go beyond the cartoon interfaces of gaming today in mobile and really change the game and, and offer some uh, options to go truly photorealistic. So let's go into this leather couch. You see that, I mean, the grain actually pops out. You can see it, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's live. I mean, it, these, all of the, the lighting effects, the, um, the rendering, this is, and this is all being rendered on the slide. This is not, this is not video. You know, if I zoom in here, not only can I see, the, see the, the splits between the boards and the grains, but I can actually see the orange peel in the finish of the, the lacquer finish of, of, the, of the wood. If I move over to this part of, this part of the room, Look at this. Um, look over the lighting now. I just put out. So notice that the lighting, you know, it's brighter at the top, and, and that's as the, wherever the light source is will change the the impact of the things around it because it's it's uh, it, it's all dynamically done. So notice that there's no shadows over here, but there are shadows based on the texture of the wall even. Right? That's all done. That's all done dynamically. You look, down at this, at this, at the, uh, at this, the uh, base of the lamp, you see the reflection of these, of these surfaces. Now, as I move in, notice as I, as I move around, my reflection changes in real time. Right. So going back, I'm now, I'm now on a different angle, so I see, I see different things. So this, this game engine is the latest game engine from Epic. It runs on high-end PCs, PlayStation One, Xbox Four, and Tegra K1. Tegra K1 is, uh, has a 192 core fully programmable GPU with our Kepler architecture. The Kepler architecture from NVIDIA uh, is, is the, uh, the most powerful GPU architecture uh, in the world, and, and for us it spans supercomputers all the way down to mobile. So this is the first time, with K1, it's the first time we brought our Kepler architecture to mobile. Uh, and as I said, it's a 192 core GPU that's fully programmable, so you can use CUDA code.